Hi, thank you for joining me today. This is a rough 50% scale model of the rocket engine's nozzle that I'm trying to design. And I designed this nozzle using a program that I wrote myself. In this video, I'm going to show you how I wrote the program and how to use it. The first thing that I had to do was to integrate variables into the program, such as the throat area, throat diameter, exit area, exit diameter, combustion temperature, flow rate, combustion pressure, exit pressure, and uh, the ratio of specific heats. And also let's not forget about the molar mass of the exhaust, which usually if you've got different gases in the exhaust, it's the average of those gases. The next thing that I had to do was implement the equations required to calculate the variables mentioned before. And I got those equations from a book called Rocket Propulsion Elements. This was by far the hardest part of writing the program. And the reason is that there were so many equations and so many parentheses that at some point I, I actually forgot where to put the next parentheses and I just had to guess by typing and deleting parentheses. At the end, I had a pretty simple program that wouldn't even do chemistry calculations for me. However, that's actually quite an advantage because if you look at other programs that do those for you, such as RPA or rocket propulsion analysis, um, if you try to make a monopropellant engine, for example, it's quite difficult because it asks you a lot of other questions which uh, you may not know how to answer to like me and that's actually quite an advantage for me. For this example I'm going to be assuming that we're burning 100% uh, ethanol with liquid oxygen because I did those calculations before. So the mass flow let's say for this example 4.5 kilograms per second the pressure, let's say 22 bar. The molar mass of the exhaust, I calculated it to be um, 24.6. However, I think it's slightly lower than that because uh, that's assuming that the combustion is 100% efficient. So I'm going to say 22 as a good guess. CP over C. V, as it says here, it's usually 1.3, and for uh, ethanol and liquid oxygen, that's the case. Oh, sorry, 1.3. Okay, the absolute temperature for stoichiometric burning, that's about 3,500 Kelvin. And the exit pressure, let's say 0 0.8 bar, uh, which is normal for a atmospheric engine and it gives us the throat area the exit area the area ratio Mach ratio efficiency and the thrust so as i mentioned before the chemistry calculations must be done by hand which can be quite annoying however in some situations that's really an advantage because as i said before there's a program called rpa which is really popular However, the free version of that doesn't allow you to calculate tri-propellants, for example, and that can, can be quite annoying sometimes. On my desk, you can see part of an experimental pump that I designed to see if I can design a pump that can generate expected flow rates and expected pressures. This design is probably going to be a scrap because I can't affordably generate that the pressures and the flow rates that it's supposed to generate using a brush DC motor. So I'm probably going to design a lower pressure and lower flow rate pump that I can easily spin using a brush DC motor. So if you want to use the program it's down in the description. And in the next video, I'm going to design a high-speed impulse turbine that's supposed to generate insane amounts of power using a sonic jet of air. So if you like this video, 
please like it if you like what i'm doing please subscribe and i will see you in the next video thank you